Hi guys, this is Tara with the Gaia Tarot 13, and this is your weekly angel card forecast for the week of November 27th through December 3rd, 2016. As always, I'm going to pull three cards from the angel card deck, one for your work and financial life, one for your love and romantic life, and one for your home and family life. And this week, I am using the Butterfly Oracle Card Deck by Doreen Virtue. Here's the cover. Just got that last one to get. There we go. There it is. Okay. So, for your work and financial life this week, we have hobbies. Take some time to explore what you like, what makes you happy, what are your hobbies, what do you like to do in your free time, and see if maybe that can be, I feel like we've had this message before a couple weeks ago, see if that can maybe be something that you do on your time outside of work and you start to kind of segue it into a job, um, if that's something you are interested in. It could just be for some of you a message that, you know, you're working 80 or 100 hours a week <laughs> and the angels are like, hold up, get back to the things that make you happy and that that you like to do. Try to expand on some of your hobbies, spend a little more time outside of work to do less work and spend more time on your hobbies. Um, so it could be either way for you. Um, just kind of depends on what your specific circumstance is. But this week the angels are definitely telling you to take a closer look at what your hobbies are, what you like to do, and how you need to integrate them more. Because both of those messages are about taking more time for them, whether it's becoming your business or taking time off of work to do more hobby stuff. It's talking about integrating your hobbies into your life more. So the angels want you to look at how you spend your free time and how much time you spend doing the things that you like to do. In your love life we have, you are stronger than you know. What, what do you have going on that's causing you stress and is that stress warranted? Now this is specifically with your love life. If you have, you know, a breakup that you're taking really hard, just as an example, and um, you know, you're like, I'm never going to be able to get through this, or it seems like devastating is what's coming to me. It's something that seems like it's devastating. This is the angel saying, like, we all experience loss, and you can get through this. We wouldn't have put this in front of you if it wasn't something that you could get through, if we didn't think that you could get through it. So, chin up. I mean, of course, they're not saying, like, get over it, you know, take your time to grieve. No one is telling you not to grieve. You need to do what you need to do, but they're saying like you're strong enough to get through it. It might seem dire right now, but it's not dire. Just process it and and know that you are going to move forward because you are stronger. You're stronger than you think. In your home life we have decisions. Ooh, it's time to make some decisions people. Again, it's home life, it's pretty broad, home and family. If you are looking on expanding a family or have been talking about that, um, maybe one spouse has been kind of saying like, hey, let's get pregnant, the other one's on the fence, weighing pros and cons, decision time. If you are looking at buying a house, um, if you're looking at reconciling with family members, all of these things are uh, different options, different possibilities that could come up in this section, in this, um, placement of the card and those are all things that could have decisions made on them so again it's going to be very specific and very personal for you as you have your own life experience but just know that overall this theme this week is that it's decision time in your home and family life something that you've been trying to um, or maybe not trying to remain neutral about but where you've been on the fence it's time to choose a side and I know that sounds very um, dichotomous and I don't really mean it to sound that way, but it's like, all right, there's no more wishy-washiness. Like, we're either going to do something or we're not. <laughs> but either way, a decision is going to be made. And remember, not making a decision is making a decision. So keep that in mind. 
if you don't act or you try not to choose, a decision's going to be made for you, and it isn't always the one that you want it to be. So it's best that you just take this information, <laughs> see how it applies to your specific circumstance, and decide what you want in your home and family life and make a decision. That's what we've got going on this week. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Thanks for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my YouTube page. If you want to get a personal reading with me, the only way to do so is through my website, which is GaiaTarot13.com. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr, where I pull an angel card every day, reading the energy of that specific day. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we will see you next week.